Lads, before we get into this video, I want to let you know that I now have a donation button over on Twitch. You can go over to my channel, twitch.tv forward slash Joshua underscore Gibson 8. You hit the donate button, it will bring you to my PayPal. Feel free to drop in any amount of money you'd like. And yeah, please do donate. I'm currently not monetized on YouTube. I don't make any money off any videos or streams that I post, so any donations are appreciated. The link to this PayPal will also be in the description of this video. Thanks for listening to this part, and let's get into the video, lads. Right, guys, welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another episode of the AG Cousins Football Manager Save. So, boys, we are almost finished our second season, and look at this. We have won the league. It's official. We've had an unbelievable season. We've, we have walked it. There was one or two times where there's only, you know, four or five, maybe six points in it. But we did manage to pull away for most of the season. We went undefeated for a good while. Um, we didn't lose our first league game until, I think it was October there. Yeah, October. It was, wasn't long after we got knocked out of the FA Cup in the fourth qualifying round. Chesterfield, who are in Vanarama National. We drew 2 all at home with them and unfortunately lost 2 1 away, so that was close. Drew to Warrington after, which is disappointing. Then Gloucester gave us our first loss. Um, the FA Trophy, third qualifying round, boys. Right? That's where we started, and we got took to extra time by Kettering. And look now, today's episode. We have the FA Trophy final against York. So I'm going to show you all of our fixtures from third qualifying round. We won 2-1 in extra time. Then the first round, beat Gweasley, who are in our league. Beat them 4-1. Second round, Leighton Orient in the National League. We beat them 2-0. And when we, when we got that draw against them, I thought that was a death draw. But we managed to get the win. Third round. Beat Haven. Who are also in the National League. Beat them 3-0. Unbelievable we've been this season. Concord who are in the Vanarama South. Beat them 4-2 in the fourth round. In the semi-final. Three um, Vanarama North teams. One National team. Of course we get the National team. But we took down Southport 2-1 um, in the first leg. Drew 2-2 in the second leg, which was quite intense at times. But we went through 4-3 on aggregate. And it's us against York in the final. And we just played York a few games ago there in the league. And beat them 2-0. So we're looking good. Now look at our player stats. Jamie Thomas. 57 goals in all competitions this year. Unbelievable. 47 in the league alone. Gokdemir with the most assists so far. 17. Obviously there's one uh, game left. Um, We did lose Pedrosa a while back. He is just kind of coming back. Well, not really. We've put him in the reserves for now. He's almost there. He might make the final. I'm not 100% sure. I want to have a look at his condition, actually. You know, he's on 86, but I think... We'll see how he is for the final game of the season. Um, it would be nice to have him back. He was injured a few months ago. He was out for two months, and it was actually a really scary game because Thomas got injured in the same game. So Nestle is out for... 10 days. We'll move him to the reserves until match fit. Uh, Pedrosa has come back up into the first team, which means we can do this. Load our favourite team. And I'm not sure why it's doing that. Let's make sure everyone playing their best positions. And then... We'll resave this. 
And lads, we have literally been playing counter attack all season. I had changed there to control because we had a few weak games there, but um yeah, it's just been counter attack all season and we've just been able to live off it. It's the same kind of football we played last season and we overachieved and this season we've just took the league by storm. I mean counter attack it seems like the kind of football you play when you're one of the lower teams in the league. We play our best football when we're counter attacking. And we get it in there. Danny Pedrosa on his first game back is gonna get a goal. We always struggle against Farsley. Um there's one game I have to show you. We went three nil down. Right? We went three nil down, came back, went five three up, and then we won the game four three. With or sorry, five four. Which was unbelievable. So Thomas is having a bit of a poor game. I'm gonna take him off. Um hopefully he can get back into form for the cup final. We've already got our first silverware now, obviously, the league title. But it would be nice to win the FA trophy and Danny Pedrosa with his second goal of the game. Unbelievable. Back from injury. And he's already banging them in. And this is a big improvement from us. So we're going to check our fitness again. I want to try and keep as much of our main team fit as we can. They're going to get one there with Modest. Um, Barba looking a wee bit tired. So we'll switch those two around. And then we'll bring Hurst on. Oh, was an impactful sub. I've also been playing the youngster, Jamie Lyons. Got a few appearances. We had a few, like, just stamina issues and stuff at one point in the season there. Um, that's a great goal. Jenna gets it in. Jamie Lyons came in, scored, I think he scored three goals in, like, two appearances or something. Two or three appearances. So, he was, he was good. He's... Hopefully going to improve now because he's supposed to be the big youth academy prospect at this club. And it would be nice to see him get there. But it looks like we've got this game all wrapped up at 3-1. And that's it. We finished the season with a 3-1 win against Farsley. A team I've struggled against in the past. I think they're going down actually. Yeah, they are. So are Telford. That one shocks me. But then Nuneaton and Warrington doesn't surprise me. So this is our final league table, boys. Edgy Cousins, top of the league, 105 points. Scored 115 goals this season. No problem with that attack. Conceded just 46. I mean, that's a goal a game on average, right? But it's not too bad in this league. I think our defence has strengthened because we're playing 46 games. I'd like to think if we were playing like a 38-game season, we would concede less. So we'll just have to have a look next season and see. Um, do we maybe change our goalkeeper or something? We're probably going to get rid of some players, but I'm going to now save them to the FA Trophy final, boys. So... I'll be right back. So, lads, we're at the FA Trophy final day. So, before we get into things, I'm going to show you this match. That was absolutely crazy. So, it was up in September. Played Farsley here. 5-4. Now, look at the, the time of the goals. Farsley went 3-0 up. After 31 minutes, Walker, Spencer and Cartman all getting one. We come back, Thomas gets one, Pedrosa gets two. Jane comes off the bench, puts us 4-3 up. Thomas makes it 5-3. Then Spencer gets one back for them in injury time to make it 5-4. What a game that was, lads. A 3-0 down, I just couldn't believe it. And, you know, we went into half-time 3-0 down as well. We scored five second-half goals. That was unbelievable. 
Now a few things have been happening here. And um, we're gonna go right back to here. Camp boss out for two weeks. We're hoping he'll make the final. Jamie Thomas finished the league's top scorer, forty seven goals. Uh Pedrosa was third, which is great. So we've done some mentoring with Dimitri and Koike. Ali Gokdemir had a few transfer offers he's wanted. I want to keep him at the club. Um, he's not happy about it, as you can see, but he'll get over it. Kane Wilson, uh, he's been coming on in games. He's been doing well. I want him to be able to play down the whole right-hand side. So, yeah, that's that's been happening. We're slight underdogs, apparently, against York. I don't know why, um, because you look at the league. I wonder how the playoffs actually went. So York are coming up with us to the National League. That's interesting. So it looks like Campos is going to be okay. Jamie Thomas is suspended. I was supposed to show you this as well. Here's why. Jamie Thomas scores the goal to make it 2-2 on the night and 4-3 on aggregate in the 87th minute. Jamie Thomas gets sent off in the 87th minute. Now, Jamie Thomas was already on a yellow card. So the only thing I can guess is he scored that dramatic goal. He's whipped his shirt off. He's got booked and he's got sent off for it. So he's cost himself a final, which I'm worried about. I'm not going to lie, lads. Um, I'm actually going to play Hurst. I'm going to start Hurst. And then we will bring we'll bring Wilson on the bench. And lads, this is big. I hope I hope we can win this. We've been better than York all season, lads. Let's get it done. We're one 0 down. Not even a minute in. What the Oh no, lads, don't do this. Everyone you've worked for this season. Don't make it a disappointing end. Oh, we've given it away again. Lads. Oh, no. We're going to have to go attacking here. Why is this happening? Why are we 2-0 down to this team? Press them. Finally get to a final. Oh, God. I was. You're gonna have to perform some sort of comeback here, lads. It would have helped if we'd had Thomas too, but if this goes 3 0. Now, I can't even do team talks or nothing. Grant has had an awful game, so he's coming off. Alright, lads, you need to sort this out. Even take it the extra time. I don't care. Just don't get beat here. Why is... Like, why are we not doing anything? You know what? We're going to have to push here. We've got one back. We're going to have to push. Um, the hour is looking kind of tired. So we're going to do this. It's this here I wanted to do. Jane up top, Hurst in there. And we're going to have to completely overload it, lads. And hopefully, we get one back. I know we'll leave ourselves open, but it has to be done. Oh, chances. Chances. This is going to hurt so much if we lose this. Come on, lads. We're only going to get one more chance. Oh, come on. You were inside the box. Oh, come on. That's it. We've lost. That's our first final, like. Our first 
cup final that we get to. And we've lost it. That is... Oh, that's so tough. Exactly. I'm not sure what I hoped for a result. We were better than them. They had more possession. But other than that... That's actually... That's really disappointed me. Now, Donald's contract running out. I'm going to let him go, lads. He's... Yeah, he's not doing it. We didn't really need him. But, yeah. I'm going to sort out the wages here, too. Do this just to get us... Some good... Looking good going into next season. <sighs> that's disappointing. I mean, we've won the league... So at least that is something. But um where can I see Trophy Cabinet? We have a leg. We have four manager of the month awards. We should have had a, a cop there though. That's so disappointing. So um, is it just, yeah, see, Bainbridge can, can probably go to, I haven't been using them all that much, lads, so I'm going to go into the next season now, and I'll be right back. So, lads, here we are, in the new season, and I've told the club we just want to stay clear of, of relegation, um, but looking at the team... For me, there isn't a whole lot of players that we need to think about getting rid of. Um, even down in the reserves, it might just be a case of loaning a few of them out. You know, if we go to the per their potential here. I obviously guys like him, we could let go. But then uh, we want to loan out... For the rest of the season. Now his is his um potential is quite low, so we'll add in the the buyout fee there. But the likes of Lions, um well Strobel's gonna leave. Tracy's handy to have around. Bramble We're gonna loan out Um, Bainbridge will keep around for now. Alfonso should be coming back soon too. The 30th of this month. Now this is always a good opposition. Or opposition? What am I on about? This is always a good opportunity. Basically what we want to do here is scout all these guys. Because they get like. They just get released from Premier League clubs. And it's great. So. We'll take the 2k there. Um, yeah, we'll take the 1k for him as well. And hopefully, they are both going to leave. So if we take a look at this guy. Good um, CDM. He wants a big signing on fee though. offer him more money I guess but see this is a lot of money to offer him and I don't like that now something I want to do our shortlist we need to bring in some strikers and stuff because um, honestly whenever Thomas got injured we did not look good so we're gonna offer Umar a contract here. Um nice. he's getting offers from other clubs, you see. I can't give him that kind of money though. They really wanna You know what? I'm not going for him. Jordan Thompson. I feel like if I could get him for a bit cheaper, he wants 400 really. 
You know what? I'm not I'm not paying four hundred a week for him. No chance. Now if we look at someone like Elliot He would a lot of these these guys all want big money. Like big signing on phase. He's a striker. Um So they all want these big signing on fees. So that's not gonna work out. That's kind of annoying. George Marsh uh, has some good aggression, good stamina. So we're gonna bring him in. Um, Machino, this guy looks very good. And of course, I, mean, I can't offer you more money than that. Right, so... <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do there. I didn't get a work permit. See, I don't know whether... Like, how are you supposed to sign these guys whenever they're not getting work permits? We we'll signed Elliot in. Hines isn't gonna take the contract. You know what then? No bother. George Marsh also another good signing, worth a hundred and eighty k. Machino, I really want this guy, but I can't get him, which is really annoying. So, I think we might play the Kirsten Ashton game here. Alfonso uh, isn't looking great. I wonder, is there any players we can, like, probably not. I was going to see if there was any players we could just get on really... Like low wages, but I think we're like we're way too far down. So fools, he's already been signed up. So forget that. It's just the work permits on this game seem to be broken, you know. Gokdemir is not going anywhere, and he might take that badly. See, he's already been signed. You just have to hurry up with the the scout reports here, lads. See, it's definitely gonna be a big change in the squad. I think Newport want Jamie Thomas. Thomas wants to move on. I can't let you go. Jamie, there's no way I can't let you go, mate. Now his contract doesn't have a release fee in it, does it? So we can just keep rejecting them. And one thing I actually want to do as well is I need a board request. I would like to expand the stadium, but I want to improve the training facilities first. They don't want to. Right, let's see the stadium. Right, they are going to expand the stadium for us, thank goodness. If they're not going to expand the... Or improve the youth facilities, so... Um, Marsh in the centre of midfield is basically our only change. But surely... Elliot over Barba. Has to be. Thomas in for Hurst. Ah, uh, that's going to be a problem. Elliot only plays that far up. <laughs> he 
think we probably no we'll we'll go with that team but Elliot you're gonna have to learn to play left mid mate right you can't just be playing as a winger so give them those numbers let's see how can we do in this first pre-season friendly hopefully carry over last season's form but it's gonna be, we're gonna need a big turnaround in the team a lot of a lot of signings and probably free ones to be fair but it is what it is I'm probably just gonna make a a load of changes at half time though to be fair lads because it's pre-season we want everybody to have a go and it'll be interesting to see who who keeps performing this season I do plan on sticking with our counter attack football we're like we're actually all over these ones we haven't had a clear cut chance yet but we're all over them It looks like the first half team isn't going to get the job done. No, they're not. So, changes. So, let's go for this. Bring on all the new players. Because that's what pre-season's about, lads. Play all the boys. And whoever impresses. Um, they get to crack on in the season. Hopefully the second half team doesn't let us down, though. Just play the counter-attack like he's used to, lads. The same counter attacking football that won us Vanarama North. The team's definitely lost a, a footing or two coming up though. And John has snuck in and Yusuf Diara gets the goal. Beautiful to see. Kirsten Ashton did me did mess up there. Looks like we might have messed up though, we have. Kirsten Ashton. Getting one back. Two goals in this game that came from mistakes. Not what either of the managers want to see. Don't lose it, lads. Flip me. I know it's only a friendly, but we want to be playing well. So, our Kirsten Ash Ashton... Um, See, they're the league below us. So why are we not beating them? So, to be honest, I'd like to see the stadium in this episode. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Ibsevich I'd like, but he's another one. He just wants too much money. He wants a big signing on fee. So, is there any chance of seeing... Our new stadium here, boys. Now, we've been asked to submit our squad numbers. And... Rufus is not getting eight. Alright, you're going to have 26. I don't think he deserves eight. So, we're not going to see the new stadium in this episode, boys. I hope to rename it. If... um, I think you get that option whenever it uploads. Or whenever it upgrades, you can rename it. So it's either going to be AGC or if that's like too short because it's only three letters, then it'll be AGC Arena. So yeah, big changes need to be made. Probably be another few transfers in and out. I will sit down and get a good in-depth look at the team. It's kind of hard to do transfers in videos, lads, because you have to have a good look and... I don't want to be wasting your time. But thanks for watching. 
Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. Yeah.